just worried about me. It doesn't sound like it. Trees are often cut down because they get in the way, or like this one, they are needed to build a bridge. Oh, rain for you. Know what you want to get worked up about now, Dave? Come and streak into your army's out of the way. What do you think you're oh, doing? Shut up, we. I'm trying to concentrate. You can't come in here and do that. Look, sit down and give your tongue a rest. I would if I were you. It'll only be a couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh, song's a prize. What's this? Yeah, but it would help if you had it on the right channel. Oh, well, come on in, clever. There you go. Now, sure, there'll be a wine in a minute. Trumpet delight number five. Kingsville, Mulboard, Lick the Breeze, Rebel Song, Russell, Sir Blake, Flowers. Toby Tobias. That's another Irish one with a chance. Oh, now keep looking out, will you? You chat her up later. You won't oh. be disappointed in this. Roger, three zero. Let us know where. Hello, Mark. Like Go on. Oh, that be Louise. Keep that, my son. One. Hey, can it be a my son with a name like Louise? Anyway, keep what I was about to say. Hey, right, look, it's just beyond the ears. Black and white check. Nah, nah, mate. Pink and yellow spots. That's what it said in the paper. Where is the paper? Oh, that's good. We don't know what horse we're cheering. It's Robson. Luke? Trevor? Robbie, what are you doing? I was just going to um, turn the sand up, sir. Really? I had no idea you were interested in the rainforests of Brazil. Definitely. Hey, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, you do surprise me. You always look so bored in geography lessons. No, sir, you, you've got me all wrong. I've always been interested in, in, in ecogily and stuff like that. Ecogily? Yeah, ecogily. Mandy, is this true? Well, yes. They do seem rather interested in certain animals and their relation to forestation. I don't see why not. There must be some sort of local engineering. A lot of answers. Mm. Too many for you, mate. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, all right, I think you got it right. Oh, don't bother me with kids' games. I've got serious plans to make. Mm. Mm. Go on, then. What was the name of the horse you picked? You know the name of the There's a French folder. Oh, go for it then. Why me? You saw it first, go on. Yeah, not on that man, are you? Ah. Hello, Ziggy. Oh, oh <laughs> hello, um, wrong table, wrong table. So, so, is anyone in here? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm here. That's your uncle's work too? Yeah, I am here. Yeah. All right, I'm in. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Chinese. I thought he said this single bloke was supposed to be brainy. He can't read that. Yeah, well, that's because he's a real intellectual, Rob, you see. I mean, the ideas come too fast. They spill out onto the page faster than he can write them. How'd you work that one out, Conch? Well, I've got the same problem myself. I mean, teachers think I'm untidy, but I'm not. I'm just naturally brilliant. Shut up. Service? Why not? Look, she's coming. Come on. Right, mid. It'll never, never wear a place. Never. Just watch. Ah. Do the swimming pool competition by any chance? Maybe. Have you got a pencil shot on me? Yeah. Thank you, Watson. Thank you, my man.
That's Fremont. Up the left. Beat one. Beat another. Cuts inside. Only the goalkeeper to beat now. It's yours, Nick. Oh, what a fantastic goal, Brian. Lee miserable, Mandy. Is this uh, part of your science project? It's not mine, sir. It's mine, sir. Yours, is it, Luke? Surely this isn't on the GCSE reading list. No, it's not, sir. I'm just reading for pleasure. Oh, not during science, I hope. Uh, outside. Call this aloud. Yeah, Rob, did you know you got some Kraken bands in here, you know? Yeah? Yeah, all the time. Crackers. It's yours or so? Mandy Fremont carrying gear around, nah. You, know, nah, they, you might sound like Christians, might you? Or Bob Marley, nah. nah. You're gonna be a punk rock fan. Ziggy Marley, even. You know nah, what I mean? Ziggy punk rock fan, yes. The Les Dyer Positive, the... That was the name of the band, look at all right, I don't think you heard them. Grand Jill French Society? It's not art last seven. Nah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Nah, she's coming over. <laughs> All right, man. Hello, what are you two doing here? Well, do you think they're positive? He's gone to a big fan of them, you know. Was he positive? Yeah, that's the one. Really? You must tell him to come along. No, don't laugh. <coughs> yeah, bro. Look, I'll tell him to come along. I'll tell him to look out for you tonight if you want. <laughs> if you like. Okay, so it's a date then, yeah? <laughs> that's gone fixed up for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? He must tell him to come along. But I want a nickel. Do you reckon really he's any decent talent, is he? You know, Robert, I've been thinking about it. This French society, right? We do a few new members. Say, Lovey. Or deaf? Are we at uh, mercy? <laughs> Where, where's this band then? Come on. You know, Le Band. Le Dear Positive. Oh, we? Oui. Any time now. Should if we? Yeah, yeah, don't mind if I do. Um, Ziggy so said you've been to the French Society before. Did he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Perhaps he was getting confused with the German society. I go to that quite a bit. My German's not very good. Was machen Sie hier, mein Herr? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> So, uh, this when you, uh, this got get, gets going then. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 vous. Et vous. And now, I would like to introduce our guest speaker for this evening, who will be showing us his slides of Brittany, or rather, Les Diapositives de Bretagne, Monsieur Bolson. Slides. Come, let's get out of here. Mes vacances en Bretagne. La Bretagne est située dans la partie nord-ouest de la France. Anyway, I've got other things on my mind. Look, right, well, when I give you the nod, yeah. say to me, what do you think of Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky. What, what for? Look, just do it, all right? Who? Shh. Look, you ready? What's going on? Shut up! Yeah, tell me, Gons, what do you think of Chai... Tchaikovsky's first piano concerto? Yeah, that's it. I think it has lyrical passages of breathtaking beauty. I think he goes completely over the top myself. <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, an interesting alternative view. But don't you know what to judge if you hear for yourself? At the concert at the local town hall, for example. He's gone mad, isn't he? I think he's losing that money, Rob. That's affecting him more than what we thought. You boys! Give me a hand with your hand with these books, will you? In their their artistic, you know, make Where's your car, sir? Oh, where's that today? That's all right then. And so finally, how would you sum up these two men? 
Mandy? Well, they're both very brave for a start. Although I think Macbeth was braver than Banquo. In what way? Well, he had the witches to deal with. So did Banquo. Yes, but what Macbeth went through was a lot more serious and disturbing. More harrowing. And anyway, when it comes to witches, Lady Macbeth was bad enough. True. One production I saw, miss, they actually had Lady Macbeth playing one of the witches. That's interesting, isn't it, Luke? It's fascinating, miss. A very valuable contribution. I wish I thought you really did value knowledge, Luke. I do, miss. I do. All right, thank you very much, everybody. We'll carry on with this next week. thought any more about your A-levels? Yes, miss. And you're still thinking of university in the long run? Yeah, yeah, of course she is, miss. It would be a terrible waste if she didn't. Suppose not, miss. No, suppose they're not. Mandy, you did the war post, didn't you? Which one did you choose? I did the Owen and the early six weeks for seniors. Did you do the one about the man dying of mustard gas? Dark is a cool mess. Yeah, that's the one. Did you write about that? Mm-hmm. Look, I couldn't look at what you wrote, could I? Only she said I hadn't done enough about the about the change of pace or <laughs> something to do with the end of the last verse. A change of pace? Yeah, assonance, I think she said. Yeah, well the first verse is all slow and measured, like they're marching exhausted. All the phrases are the same length and the sounds are repeated. Men march to sleep. Many had lost their boots but limped on. You lost my heart. I've done it loads of times. And then at the end of the verse, gas shells dropping softly. It sounds quiet and sinister. Look, I couldn't borrow what you wrote, could I? Only it's difficult not having it in front of me. I'm not lending it to you, but you can have a look at it if you like. What now? I can't. I've got to go to orchestra practice. Well, later then. Look, I'll, tell you, I'll meet you at the gate, uh, 10 to 4. OK. Yeah, continue the game. Hang on. Doing well there, didn't you, lad? You reckon? Yeah, well, I mean, I reckon you've got air eating out your hand. If I didn't know you well enough, I'd reckon you'd kind of cop for that. Yeah? Yeah, well, it can't be that easy. I mean, it's not exactly good luck, it's like the boys. She's all right. Yeah, I'd rather you than leapfrog, you know what I mean? OK, lad. Look, Zig, I was going to ask you, look, can you give me an hand with her? How do you mean? Well, it's not that she doesn't like me, it's just I can't get to hand over at work. She'll let me look at it. It's all right, isn't it? It's not. Got all stuff in every fight. It'll be in a minute. Georgina? Georgina? I'm sorry, mate, all right. Stay there, stay there, don't stay. To see you on some help? Yeah, it's Greed. All oh, right, Greed, you're going to get out of here. Mandy, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm really yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'll come here yeah, yeah. tomorrow. I think, oh, no, tomorrow, you've got to go. Mandy, shit, that's what about that? I'll get him, I'll get him. Come on, please. Come on, do it now, come on. Where are we going? Come on, you're not! Through the flats, Lee Morgan said that, and we, we see Gons and Z in Robbie like they said, hey, standing. Hey, what's the matter with you, all right? It doesn't matter. Honestly, you're not a fool. Just look at you. All oh, right, please, please. Go to our classrooms! I said, go! Did he have scars? Or long as I can't take much more. Boy, would you want to come to my house and have a sandwich? Uh, no, why oh. not? Oh, we've got to go. Oh, please, please. Here, Gons, where are you off to? I want to work with you. Perfect. I can't get over the way they all go on about it. Like it's some film or telly program or something. Yeah, well, they didn't really know him a lot of them, did they? Yeah, but some of them did. You know Trevor? He even tried to make out he'd won a sweepstick. Yeah, well, Trevor Cleaver, what do you expect? I know, but he could have waited a bit. What are you going to do about the sweepstake? <sighs> Don't know, I hadn't thought about it, really. Giving their money back, I suppose. In my sister's school, when a girl died, he planted a tree for her. Yeah? We could use the sweepstake money for that. A tree? Mm. <laughs> Don't know that Danny was into trees very much. Yeah, well, what else could we get? A bench? <laughs> like the use of the old crumbies in the park. Now let's stick to a tree. Providing everyone agrees. 
Are you going to eat your sandwich? No, I can't face it. Do you mind if I do? Ah, uh ah. -uh. GIQ. From jerk to genius, we cater for all. Why are you doing this? Why am I trying to help people? Yeah. Because, believe it or not, I know what it's like to be lonely. I haven't always been the, the confident, successful person you see before you. Why? What happened? I never talked about this before, you know. Well, with this private. No, no, it's a... It's just a memory of how I used to be. Before someone made me believe in myself. Was this a religious experience? Yeah. Yeah, I think it might have been. You found someone who really cared about you? Yeah. How did you know? Was it a girl? <sighs> yeah, I can't remember. But if I, in turn, can help someone with this academic burden... There's no money involved. How can you ask me that? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I think, in principle, it's a good idea. Yeah, well, well don't decide now. Just, just think on it. It's <laughs> crazy. Motorbikes are banned because they're dangerous. She's in the school council. Someone want me? Yeah. Um, would like to get a rule change. The rule on motorbikes. Got a good argument. They'll never change it. Well, here what she's got to say first. I've heard it all before. So the school council. It comes up every term. Yeah, well, it can't have been put very well. Because the argument for it was rock solid. There'll be judo, karate, kung fu and all May I have a word with you, Mr. Plusky? Yes, Mandy, come in. It's about motorbikes in school. We don't have motorbikes in school. No, they're all out there. Oh. You see, they're still coming in on them. And while they're parked out here, they're being stolen and vandalised. And these are all ours? Yes. I'd like to make a suggestion. They're not coming back into school. But why not? Everyone says that they're dangerous. Which they are. It's dangerous riding them here. If we could bring them back into school, you could check how good the riders were. The school could have its own safe riding test. The police could be involved. I'm sure they'd go along with it. Those that fail can't bring their bikes in. It's a good idea, don't you think? I really am sorry, miss. Oh, well. Our ages ago. <laughs> Ronnie, I had a word with Mr. McCluskey about the motorbikes. Oh, that must have been interesting. I went through what we discussed about the safe riding test and those that felt couldn't bring their bikes in. And? Just going to think about it. So we have to wait and see. Yeah, I thought we might. Charming. That's gratitude for you. So, Mr. Bronson isn't coming. No. Uh, that's a shame. Who's going to take us windsurfing? <laughs> We could invite a parent. Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? Anyway, they wouldn't be able to take the coursework. Well, can't you manage just the two of you? Hmm. Well, we need some cover, Mandy. What if one of us is ill? We really need three teachers. <laughs> or else what? Well... Oh, no, you wouldn't call it off. You can't. Well, it doesn't leave us much time. Look, we haven't given up yet. <sighs> Trust Bronson. All right. Well, first he spoils it by saying that he is coming. Then he spoils it by saying that he's not. Why did he back out, miss? He didn't give a reason. Better not get packed then, eh? Might be staying here. Go on, it's an even thing you're sitting in the back, because I am right. Fair enough. Hello. Oh. Mandy. I didn't recognise you without the glasses. Oh, contact lens is my birthday. I didn't know it was your birthday. When was it? Well, actually, it's not till tomorrow, but I got the money so I could break the moon. Oh, look, shove off, William. It's obvious I'm trying to get through. Yeah, all right, sorry, Ted. What? It's me, Mauler. You look really nice. 
Who are you sitting with on the coach? I said I sit with Fiona. Oh. Vince Savage! <laughs> You're not saying... No, nothing at all. Well, it's nothing for it. I'll have to stay. I'm sorry. Yes, well, he will be too. I'll wring his neck for him when he turns up. Can I wait with you, sir? Sorry, Mandy? I just wonder if I could wait with you for lunch. No, 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 no. You go with the others. Go on. Okay. I'll see you when I see you. All right, Tom, away you go. Less noise, if you please. Tell you what, tell you what, girl. Oh, look how many of you! Look at that! What's happening? Yo, football pitch down there. Eh? It was insane, sir. Don't be so rude. What are you got, little boy? I was worried about you. Come on, everybody. Lunch is at one, and I hope we get out on the dance while it's fine. All right? We can. Before we go up onto the Warren, I'd like to remind you that this is National Trust land, so there's no smoking. We don't want any fires. Likewise, we don't want any litter. I'm at home. OK. Right. Let's go. Let's put forward. You say a good deal, I imagine. Oh, I don't know. 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 I Oh. As a younger man, I was considered something of a star. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go and sort about doing it. Feel. Sir, sir, you can come down, sir. Miss, get sir, will ya? Morris. Yes. Sir, you can come down with a pole. Oh! 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 After the girls. Well, where are the girls gone? Well, they've gone. Look, if they're going in the front, we all go in the back. Oh, not them as well. Look, I'm sorry about this. Well, listen, maybe we should go in the middle. We'll be safe there. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Listen, we're um, sorry for interrupting it. <laughs> you are flipping rip off. A pang. So what'd you get? Dark the track, turn round, come back. I mean, what's the point, eh? Yeah, well, some point for me, lad. Look at me, Georgina. She wasn't even there, was she? Oh, yeah, well, you want to go looking anyway, mate. We want Trevor and that. Yeah, but Rob, look. I don't fancy Trev, do I? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just tell him. Tell him never does a thing. Oh, hi. See ya. Got any beans there, mate? Gunch. Word of you in your own place. Come on, banter. I've ordered half. Yeah. Thanks. Three eggs, two sausages. Well, we have a school having a barbecue tonight. Do you mind? Do you want to come? Yeah, why not? Well, we thought we'd buy a birthday cake. Where do you want to sit? Uh, just there. Okay. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we need a contribution. Look, I I'm cleaned out. His girlfriend in the kind of walk up 50 feet towards the cage. Look, don't be like that. Look, look Mackenzie's stinging me for a taxi. Oh, and then... Well, borrow it then, Gorge. I'm one guy just getting old. Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I don't believe Look, I'll see what I can do, all right? I can't do no more. Typical. I don't... Try Rob. Well, how about you, Rob? Do you want to contribute? Straight. So what's wrong with him? Oh, I don't know. He's just in a bad mood. By the way, happy birthday. 
going too soon now. Thank you. Look at that. Too flipping me to buy a better decent wrapping paper. Now, hey, Ronnie, he's only doing it to get hold of her work anyway. Look, I, I don't suppose you could lend me a fiver, could you? What, until we get back? Yeah, it's just I'm a bit strapped. What with a catamaran and a taxi and... Right. Here, Vince. Do you want... No good, sir. I need a blue felt tip, you know, to do the sea. Go on, Trevor. Just don't be long. Fourteen cousins? Yeah. But I don't see the American lot very often. We are hoping to go out there this summer, but we don't think we can afford it now. Well, why don't you come into running with me, then? I might. But the thing is, if my parents do go, I really want to go with them. Because Dwayne, that's the one who's a year older than me, he said he'd take me to a prom. What's that? When is it home? It's a dance they have in America when they're leaving school. You know, everyone gets dressed up, they arrive to school in limousines, the school's decorated. Hey, wouldn't it be great to have an American prom at Grange Hill? I hope you two are noting the variety of trees along here. Yeah, sorry about that, sir. We had a fascinating, really good. Oh, the way you're going on, Gonch, Mandy will not be getting a stray for her job to fit. Yeah, and then it will all have been for nothing, won't it? Look, look, okay. it's stuck. Shh, but don't go round the point, because the tide's coming in. All right, and thanks. Come Let's on. go. He's not making her very happy. How do you know? She's crying again. Look, I don't know why you don't put your glasses back on. I don't mind. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, Oi, Vince! Take his way! Sir, are we supposed to be going this way, sir? You've got your map straight over the stile. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Uh, I believe it's after you, then, Callie, I think. Uh, uh, ladies first, is it now, more? I'm afraid so going much. over there. Oh, come on, they're only cows. They won't hurt you. Yeah, they're oh, dodgy. Um... Come on, Mola. Yeah. I'll give you a hand over, mate. I'll take that, Mola. Cheers. Come on, tell me, what was it? You're not going to like it. I don't care. Just tell me. Well, we wanted to use your brain for the computer coursework thing we're running. Luke Gardner. Well, I mean, you are pretty clued up, aren't you? You mean that's the only reason? No, look, you asked me what I first saw in you. Honestly, I thought you really liked me. Well, I do. Cheek. <laughs> Tied on, lads. Uh, All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get that. You two all right? Yeah, just agree with that. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, Look, I'll never live it down if you hold out on me. And I've told you, there's no way I'm handing my coursework over to you lot. Why should everyone else benefit from my hard work? What about if we cut you in on a deal? Made you a shareholder? You realise what you're doing, don't you? You're wrecking a whole computer coursework thing. Time. Anyway, I've got a better idea. What's that? Computer dating. Computer dating? Computer dating. Idiots like you. <laughs> a prom? Is this some sort of orchestral concert? No, miss. It's a dance. Why not call it a dance? It's an American term, Mrs McCluskey. Oh, American. To celebrate the end of the school year. Everyone gets dressed up and they have a theme like cowboys and decorate the school gym. Yeah, you could have cut out mountains and put sand on the floor. And this is intended to be a sort of programme for this prom, is it? Yeah. All these pages are filled with good luck messages from local businesses. You know, Porky the Butcher wishes Grange all success with its American prom. <laughs> that sort of thing. Good luck messages? Aren't we really talking about advertisements? Well, I suppose we could be. Any local business wishing to have its name displayed in these pages must pay for the privilege. Yeah. Then there's no suppose about it. We are talking about advertisements. But businessmen will understand that. And it's not as though the money isn't going to a good cause. Yeah, it's going to the prom. And anything left can go to charity. And it would incorporate your idea of involving the school with the local community. Hmm. Very well. I'll put the idea up for discussion by the school council. School council? Well, I think that's only fair. But I'm sure... If you present your case to them personally, it will be very well received. Hmm. So anyway, Brian, it's none of our business. Brilliant. She was really brilliant. I thought I'd blown it. You had. Well, hang on. You didn't mention the dating service, did you, Squire? Oh, yeah. I fixed my class up with Griffiths. 
How fit do you think I am? Don't answer that, Zeke. Look, we've got the questionnaires ready, Gone. Thank you. Find your ideal partner for the Green Chill Prom. Did you know about this? Why should I have known? Look, we've done it all ourselves. It's called initiative. All right. Well, we haven't read it yet. No, it's just that, you know... It's just what? Look, is there a problem here? I'll let you know when I study this. Oh. Well, it, it looks... What? No, hang on. Look, let her look, right? I'll take your time, because it won't make any difference. We've handed them out already. Without telling us? All right. Look, since when did we need your permission to do anything, eh? Business partners don't go taking it upon themselves to do things without consulting anyone. Hang on, that questionnaire took us ages to do, right? So if you don't like it, right, you can go around, collect them all up, and do one on your own. Yeah, we might just do that. Okay. We? Are you with her on this? Yeah. Well, I, I can see both sides, really. <laughs> both sides. Hey, what do you think? I think Robert Zigger done well for once. They're just copying it from some magazine. Are you shy, nervous, affectionate, romantic, intellectual, yeah. tolerant? What's wrong with that? We're trying to pair people up for the mm. Grange Hill prom gods, not for life. Yeah, but the more you ask people, the more chance you've got to match them up with someone they'll get on with. The more you ask people, the more chance you give them to get picky. Think about it, Luke. We haven't got the whole world to choose from, only Grange Hill. So you reckon we should have kept the questionnaire short and simple? Age, height, do you like dancing is all they need to know. Everyone gets a partner, and if they don't like him, too bad. Ziggy Rob ain't gonna like it. Well, then we're just gonna have to prove to them that their questionnaire won't work. How? I don't know. Find a guinea pig, try it out. Anyone in mind? Well, yes, I have, actually. Who? Nor Greaves will spend the night here on your own. Oh, suddenly stop laughing. What's the matter? You both lost your bottle. Can't forget the silly games, eh? Here's a real challenge for you. Fill in one of these. What? Me? Yeah, one of us has got to. Otherwise, it looks suspicious, wouldn't it? Yeah, but why me? Well, because I'm going to go to dance with Mandy. Zig won't go with anyone except Georgina. And that is true. Only leaves you, my old son. Is this our idea? Listen, if you still fancy Kelly Donington, forget it. Yeah, but I don't thank you very much. Well, it's no problem then. Just tick the boxes. Shouldn't take long. What are you, Rob? What are you, are you? Robin, my son, let's find out who your ideal woman is. What a wine up. Well, that's how you get when you drink. Come on, hurry up. So, who have we got? Number 33. No one else? Nope. She's the only one who's anything like what he's looking for. And I cross referenced her number to the computer. And? Turns out that Robbie's a boy of her dreams, too. You're joking. I'm not. A perfect match, eh? The system does work after all, then. Think so? Have you seen in number 33 years? I don't even know she'd filled in a questionnaire. She obviously has. <sighs> Rob ain't gonna like this. Well, she's not gonna be too thrilled about it either. Look, you should tell him. Why? He's your friend. Oh, not for much longer. Not only finds out who my computer's matched him up with. Well, I've got a bit news to her. She's not exactly going to be overjoyed when she finds out the man of her dreams is Robbie. That's why we just call it off. We need to be able to pair people off with someone they can at least get on with. If that computer can throw those two together, nobody's safe. Yeah, but we know that now. So there's no need to go through this blind date nonsense. Oh, yes, there is. We've got a point to prove to Ziggy and Robbie. <sighs> You've got a point to prove. Oi! English! What's the game? Game? Look, you've been ducking and diving all morning. Are you trying to avoid us or sank? You could be more wrong, Rob. I've been looking for his Athens. What about his blind bees, eh? His computer match made from heaven. Who is this unfortunate bird? It has to be a surprise for both of you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a blind date, would it? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Rob. Let I me mean, think about it. But don't worry, it'll all be revealed. Half past one, outside the cloakroom. 
Oh, well, so you've already told it then, this uh, mystery girl. We were just on our way, weren't we? Yeah. Tenner. Bonson gave me a tenner towards a school prom. Did he now? <laughs> Good for him. He was sort of, sort of friendly. I can hardly believe it was him. And? Oh, yeah, you were right. He's not wearing it. Wearing what? His syrup. Syrup of figs, mate. Syrup of figs. Oh. He's weak. It's at the cleaner's cleaver. I suppose that's spell for you, really, isn't it? Here's a bit. <laughs> OK, that ain't right. So whoever it is, they're going to have to go and tell her, aren't they? So just, just keep watching them. Don't make it too obvious, Rob, OK? Mm. Look, you have to tell her somehow. You haven't taken their eyes off me all day. I can't help that, can I? She went away to meet him all when. I know. Okay, Rob, okay. She's making a move right, but don't. No, not you, I'll be. She's not like an idiot. You're not, Zig. Thompson. Oh, what? I don't believe it. You lucky man. <laughs> Zig, I don't be like that, mate. I mean, we have been ideally matched, the computer said. Look, I'm sorry. Show them what you're worth. It was a computer. Computer. Who fed it in? She did. Oh, thank you very much. I might have known it have been you. I only fed in the information you gave us. Yeah, that's right. You fed it in. So don't keep blaming the computer. It can only go on what you tell it to, all right? What, you mean about being shy, nervous, affectionate, romantic, intellectual, huh? Ambitious, fun-loving, generous... Yeah, yeah, what it said on the questionnaire. Yes, but who designed the questionnaire? You did, remember? So if you're looking for someone to blame because that computer paid you off with Callie Donington, don't look at me. I suggest you try a mirror. Got to bash you there, young man. We did warn you, Rob. Look, most people only want partners for the prom. They're not looking to go on and celebrate a silver wedding anniversary. Yeah, which is why we've designed a new question. New, short and sweet. Just like you. Get away from me, Trey. <laughs> We're rounding them out by the main door at home time. Yeah, well, don't bring them near me, because I've got better things to do, all right? So have we all. Or have you all forgotten? We're here for an art lesson. To the more mature listeners... At last, Mr and Mrs Einstein. What's up, Doc? Well, we managed to collect these for you. Uh, in case you're so lucky, we're still alive after last night. What do you mean? Mm. What do you mean? The intruder. We only helped track him down. <laughs> I was only Gareth, what's his name, was in your sister's year. You what? Well, why would you know? I had to go to the secretary's office. Yeah. Well, there uh, you go. Well, that's no good. I don't want them till they've been numbered. Yeah, well, can't you do that? No! You've got a logbook. Oh, what? We'll check them on the computer later. You can't expect us to do everything, you know. What? Well, so it's just two weeks he's got to run around in all the work, is it? Yeah, what's losing? No, look, I'm working on the PR angle. There's a radio reporter comes to school this week, and I'm going to get in there and give an interview. Oh, I have my sources, Robert. Let's go, man. <laughs> Come on, we might as well get this done up now, eh? Yeah, uh, so, you Rob, we need our brains testing here, waiting for this. Next. Uh. Now, two, three, three. I can't read this. Look at it. We'll check it in the logbook. That's what it's for. Well, I can't. Ken or Zig's got it. Well, where is he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'll set the out of his forms. One! Is that all? Oh, look, boys, we've got to get out there and tell. How's they not going to know about the service unless we get out there and tell them? What do you mean, ain't we? All you need ever do is boss me in him about. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I must have missed something then. Was it you who sat up half the night devising the programme? Or you who sits here every break typing the information in? Oh, are you sure? I can't handle this. Street hockey practice to go then. Yeah, come on, Rob. I could do with a break from all this playing weight myself. <laughs> you could do with a break. Yeah, go on then, you two. Off you go, get some practice in. You're gonna need it if the match has been last more than ten minutes. Yeah. Man. 
could be a real money spinner, you know. But bringing lonely people together, Gonch, it wouldn't be ethical to charge. Profit's a good motive. And who's going to value humanitarian service and I say pay for it? Well, if you want to make this into a money-making scheme, you can count me out. No, no. Perhaps you're right. All right, then. Back to work. Yeah. Number 233. After oh, all that, Ziggy's gone off with a book and I can't read the name on it. So, let's have a look. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, you're going to have to go after Ziggy and get the book. No, no, hang on. Let's see. Enjoys cookery, so it has to be a girl. Oh, really? Oh, hang on. Look, um, more. I think I've got it. Almost. More, more. Maureen! Maureen Bailey, that's it. Maureen Bailey, 5B. Right. Now to find her perfect partner. Number 147. Except we don't know who he is because Ziggy's got the book. Ah, it's all right. I'll get him to deliver the good news. <laughs> Well, that's four people who are going to have an enjoyable evening. Yeah, good to see you providing the social service. Even if I am broke. Being broke isn't the end of the world. <laughs> Only someone rich could say that. Hi, John. Craft design <laughs> technology if you want it in its full glory. More! Oh, there you are, Luke. Andy. I've got a meeting after school about the end of term prom. And if you think I'm going to sit at that computer all lunchtime whilst you swan around the school, you can think again. Computer? Believe it when I see it. I did try and explain Mauler. Like it made the mistake, not us. Mistake? What mistake? With Mauler's details. Yeah, we'll keep talking, Gardner, while you still got your teeth. Oh, don't you ever get bored. What? I did like some piece of meat. Well, you can give me my money back for starters. Money? Money? Yeah, the 25p I paid you. Oh, it's been a mistake, Mauler. Look, I know it's beyond this. It, it must be my, my dubious m materialist associates. Look, to show there's no ill feeling, um, I'll square it. 25p. You're lucky, Gardener. Very lucky. Who charged two for what? Look, not now, Mandy. Look, we've got to go to the canteen, the reporter's there. And I've not had a chance to promote our humanitarian service. <laughs> well, let's go. We would have battered him. Congratulations, girls. Very Thanks. well played. Thanks, sir. We thought so and all, didn't we? <laughs> Where are the boys? Oh, probably too embarrassed to show their faces, aren't they? Oh, man. Yes, I think everyone is interested in being on the committees here. Callie's coming on later. Right, yeah. then we better make a start. So, the end of term event is to take the form <clears throat> of an American prom. What's it called that for? It's what they do in America to celebrate the end of school. Usually it has a theme and they decorate the school. Everyone dresses up in dinner jackets and gowns and they all arrive in limos. <laughs> dinner jackets at Grain Jill. <laughs> we ought to try for sponsorship. What's a limo? A big American car. Oh, where are we going to get one of them from, eh? We could decorate the school hall. We could raise the money. Hang on, surely we should find a theme first, don't we? All right, a theme. Any ideas? Mm. New York lowlife, hoodlums and hobos. No, no, no. I think something to do with the West Coast have more. What do you mean the West Coast? Yeah, no, Seattle, San Francisco, California. Disneyland. Oh, no, this place is enough of a Mickey Mouse outfit <laughs> as it is. Well, there's Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, of course, Hollywood. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We could do a big Hollywood sign like the one they've got. Yeah, you know, like at the Oscars. Mm, I'm really going to dress up. Really? Oh, I love the idea. So I come as film stars. Really. Well, let's say people can dress up if they want to, but they don't have to. Yeah, that's true. Some people might not be able to afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. Right. This is Grange Hill, not Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost it. It's the drill on the corner. Come on. Yeah, but I don't know any old films. Well, of course you do. They're always being reshown. You know, Jimmy Cagney. You rat. You darling you rat. <laughs> it's been granted favourite. Yeah, but what about the women? <laughs> Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, Rita Hayward. Oh, yeah, of course. Gosh, we've decided on the theme for the prom. Hollywood past and present. <laughs> oh, terrific. And anyone who needs a graduation partner? can be catered for at 50 pence a time. That's a wonderful idea, Gonch. Ah, call it a stroke of genius, really. 
Maybe 75p is more realistic. But that would really help with the fundraising problems. All proceeds from the dates go towards the cost of the prom. Yeah, well done, son. We haven't talked about hiring a group yet. We must have live music. Now, hold on, hold on. One idea at a time. Luke's idea will help raise money, but we're going to need a lot more with the plans we've got. Now, Mandy, you mentioned sponsorship. You got any ideas? Right. Fiona, come on, what just did you do to celebrate? Come on, Mandy. Come on. Well, Never mind the dating scheme. We're here about the prom. My name's in there. I wonder who I'll get. <laughs> School meals are a running joke. This is it. They're on joke here. I mean, you're. Oh, come on. Look, will you forget the tapes? It's dates they're queuing up for. Yeah, and the names are piling, though. Yo, can't you deal with it? You said the scheme was yours. No, we never. Yes, you did. I've got it here. Oh, you only show it how it works. No, you didn't. But you squeezed me out, you slimy We can't toes. find you, Gorge. Oh, and you looked so hard. Hello, you look. Mr. Bronson's leading presents. Hello, yeah, your piggy bank. How nice. Come on. Oh. For Bronson, you're yeah. choking at me. Here you go, Kelly. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, well, uh, I'm leaving soon. Hope you're going to do the same for me, you know? What? The Ziggy Greaves appeal. Yeah, save us gals. Save us scouts. Very good. Very humorous. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ronnie, yeah. how do you get this business so far? Well, when you've been into a routine and you find that you... Sorry, sir. When well, you've been doing the same thing for a number of years, obviously, you get into what you do. Yes, sir. Bodhi Brunson smiled. All right? All right. All right. All right. Should we invite Mr. Brunson to the prom? Oh, do we have to? Well, we have invited so many of the others, it wouldn't be fair to leave him out. Yeah, but we'd have to get him a date, though, wouldn't uh, we? Pat? We could fix him up. <laughs> well, who's going to volunteer to ask him, then? Hey, don't look at me. Uh, not me. Don't look at me. Oh, then we're just going to have to toss it, aren't we? Look, you're supposed to wear a suit. I haven't got... Have you written that? I don't know, sir. Think, girl, think. I'm trying. Oh, oh. This is stupid. Go on, I thought it was a masculine, feminine, singular, or plural. Proper egg. So, if the adjective name really goes out of the name, it's a relative also for a Sir? Yes? Well? What do you think? I think they're good. Mm. The lead singer's not bad either, is he? Oh, oh, You've got, got another. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the dinner man. Ah, the jiggy. You look happy, mate. Fifteen pounds. That isn't much for a thousand pupils. Has he asked you to the prom yet? No, not yet. Don't know if he will. Going with Trevor? Yep. I'm finally giving in to him. It's almost like an insult. Why don't you ask Ziggy? No! Oh, God. We didn't like to say, miss, uh, but uh, this is for real. Oh, really? Yeah, we said it was just a prom to throw you off the trail. Yeah, from now on, the school's closed down. This is Movie Land. The playground of the stars. <laughs> That's very good, Vince. Really, honestly. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Very heavy, it's very windy and very cold. Oi, hey, you do know where you're going. Hey, now, here. And there goes D.W., the great Hollywood director. Mr. Griffiths. Uh, he's giving them directions. Very good, Vince. <sighs> oh, that's awful. No, it's rather subtle, I thought. Yeah, well, don't call us, miss. We'll call you. <laughs> yeah, you we'll let much. you know. It's all bought and paid for. Well, he certainly won't have one of them at home, will he, girls? No, no, no. no. <laughs> all right, girlies. How's it going? It's going fine, thank you, Gonch. Everyone's got partners for yes, the prom? Yes, thank you, Gonch. No, we have. Georgie? I'm fine. I'm all right. Who are you going with? Look, I'm fine. Look, she's coming on her own, right? But why? Well, there's loads of blokes. Yeah, blokes you don't want. Well, how does she know? Match her up. Yes, she doesn't want matched up. Mm. Not by computer, anyway. Well, she can't come on her own. Yeah, well, I know I've said that. She won't enjoy it on her own. Look, if the boy she wants would ask her, then she'd go with him. Well, who does she want? It's not on your computer. Why would you know? Because he wouldn't be. Well, what's his name? Oh, you know. I don't know. Oh, you must. Siggy. Siggy Greaves. Yeah. She's after him. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, he's after her. Yeah, we know. Don't don't they understand. just haven't told each other well, yet. Well, it's just he oh, thought... Oh, don't tell us. Uh, he thought... Yeah, well, he's maybe... wrong. Well, he'd better be quick, hadn't he? Oh, no, he'll soon be leaving. Look. No, Gunch. No computers. No, look, I'll... What about if you just try to... Will he let me finish? What? Well, just let him finish what he's saying. Just try to get them both together. Look, it's just, I think I know a way, that's all. 
Let's say they're on computer. No! Look, hang on! No, Gums, we've just said... Will you let me finish? Let's say forget it. Look, it's not computer dating. Well, it is, no. but then it's not. No. Look, just wait and see. Come on, you lot, we finished. We can all go home and change. Oh, oh, look, I'll sort it out. I'm sure you will. Trust me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that'll do you, that'll do you. That'll do you. That's it. Right. That'll do you. Mandy in. What can I say? Come in. I thought I was here to collect my Oscar. Well, what do you think? This is the sort of thing they wear in the States. What does he look like? It was a bear. No, they use my name. Hi, hi. <laughs> What's up here? Has anyone seen Trev? No, what's all this thing, Don? Yeah, well, it's not mine, is it? It's got to go back tomorrow. Oh, Mandy, I love your dress. Thanks. It's what they wear in the States. They all wear long dresses. It's gorgeous. Thanks. No, it's just he's needed behind the bar, that's all. Oh, uh, he's just gone out, Gunch. I'm sure old Vincent here wouldn't mind standing here for you, would he, mate? Yeah. No, we do that. Oh, that's very nice. Lad. Where's Mr. Robson? Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do I. Just to go in the autumn when the heather's a blaze of glorious colour. It's really magnificent. Brilliant. Do you know something? I always fall. You never end up in there. I hope you're all enjoying this. Yeah. We've never had a prom before, a graduation dance. And although it's not exactly how they do it in the States, the intention's still the same. Yeah. Which is which is to celebrate, along with those who are leaving, the end of the school year. Yeah. And now, quickly, presentations for those who we will unfortunately not be seeing again. Ronnie Bertels. Yeah. Thank you. Right, this is for someone who's from Liverpool, and you'll never guess who that is. Yeah. Well, next time he's going back there, and we're all gonna miss him. Aww. Well, we thought of a nickname for him, because they do this in the States, and the one that we've come up with, because he's always shouting at, is the mighty man from Merseyside. So come up here, Ziggy Griggs. Well up, Liz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now well, at least you got the colour right, girls, you know what I mean? You got the colour right. <laughs> Well, anyway, you may, you may not know, well, you know now, I'm going back to Liverpool soon, and uh, it's been a good four years down here, and you've looked after me down here. All the best. And now, for the Fancy Dress Awards. Right. The winners of the Fancy Dress Prizes are Carly Summers and Lewis Richards. Come on up. because I have gone. Thank you. Sort him out. Thanks, Georgie. 
Oh, Mr. Robson's arrived. His bike broke down. Ah. Oh, yeah, well, he's getting changed. Here's your bit of a shot. All right, Zick. Hello, Wasters. Well, at last, eh? Here they are. Hello. Hello. Hello, girls. Look at him. Yeah, I know. What does he think he looks like? from the class of 1990 as Grange Hill continues but make sure you don't miss it because it's on at 11 o'clock the lines are now closed for Accessorama and you can find out what the gadget is I've been giving away all morning in Infosphere next